Hey guys, in this video, we will learn Go variables. So every programming language, when we start, we have variables. So in Go also we have variables, variables type, how to declare a variable, what is the use of the variables. In Go, so let's make some variables. So in Go we are using the word where. Where means variables. There through the where we can declare a variable. So right now I'm using variable age 20. Okay, so when we declare any variable, if we want to use, it will give this warning. It will give this error. Is declared and not used. At the compilation time, it will tell us error. That's why Go is little faster exactly. So we don't need to be run, then we need to check, don't need to compile at the time or while the writing itself, it will tell us. So we need to use this one. So we are writing down. Once we use, the warning error will be removed. So this is actually first variables. We don't need to require semicolon also. So Go is actually by default when, when we run or by default the Go program will be compiled. By default uh, behind the scene it will put the semicolon with the every statement wise. Okay, this variable we can declare on the top and below. For example, I'm declaring another variable over here. This variable has the meaning, this is global variable, can be accessible through the current package. This variable will be accessible only this in current function only. Outside the function, if we'll try to access it, it will, we won't be get. The life of the variable we can say inside in this two bracket. So here A is global variable and age is local variable of main fun site in. Okay. So when we declare a variables without assigning the value, so suppose I declare a variable C over here. So we can see it's what is giving expected type but found new line. So it required a type. What kind of data type it will hold it, what kind of value it will hold it. So we need to give the type. Once we'll give the type, it's giving us, okay, we declared it, but we never used it. So we should use it also. So same as it is on the top, we need to be give some values to inside it. Okay, C equal to, we are giving some value over here. After that, we can use it, fmt.print B, comma C. So now, we can printing over here. So meaning is whenever we declare variables without assigning the value, here we are declaring assigning also. Here we are declaring only, later on we are assigning. So at the time we need to tell the type also. We can give different different type. So go language support, these are the type. We have integer, integer, inside an in integer also we can give integer 8, integer 16, 32, 164 bit. So these are the nothing the size wise. If the smaller, bigger, then bigger, then bigger and bigger, like right? Same way we have unassigned also. Unassigned integer that does not have any sign means it cannot be hold the negative value. Similarly, we have float also. So float we have 32 and float 64 bit. Two actually float value we have. Same way we have another type is actually byte. Byte will be hold as sky character. Only as sky character. Another float will be hold decimal values. Another data type we have a string. Another data type we have boolean and complex also. Okay. Okay. Mathematical operations we require complex. So these are the basic data type we have in the Go language. We can make it our own type also that we will learn in later on. So we have some rule to declare a variable and naming. We need to give some name also. Like I'm giving this name. So we have some rule of variables. What is the name or rule of the variable is variable name must start with the letter or underscore. Variable name are case sensitive means capital and small letter also will matter. Avoid using go reserve keyword. So we cannot declare a variable with the where keyword. This is reserve keyword. Like same way functions is reserve keyword. And if statement, for statement, these are the reserve keyword. We should not use it this one. In every programming language, we cannot declare a variable with the reserve keyword. So we should be very descriptive name. Suppose I'm declaring a name like employee name. Okay. Employee name. 
so it should be have some meaning we should be give the proper name right so this is way we can declare it also let's print it also otherwise it will give error out suppose i am declaring a variable with the value of the 10 and i am using it same way i can declare variables with the shortened property without using var so if i need to declare so suppose i am saying y1 and i need to declare like a wing and value i can assign it so this is shortened property and this is the the way with with the var keyword the difference between these two is when we declare variables and suppose if i giving it type also so that time so that time it does not have issue but if we declare a shortened property for example i declare f4 and here i'm trying to giving a type integer it won't accept it will say we cannot be use the type in shortened property we cannot give the type how it will understand the type type it will understand by the value so whatever the value we assign to this variables it automatically understand this is integer so this concept is called type inference here we can declare it why because might be possible we are declaring it over here and later on we wanted to use it but here we cannot give the type here we need to give the type if we use the where keyword so now we understand if we declare with the variable with the var keyword we should give the type we can assign the value later on but when we use the shortened property we should assign the value plus we should give the type also so we can declare a variable like a way also suppose i'm declaring uh, a2 comma b2 comma c2 over here so here i can tell the type it will hold a particular integer type okay so all the variables a2 b2 are basically declared but not used but we have the type integer so we can declare the all the variable in a single statement also so later on we can give the values to it b2 suppose i'm giving 100 and c2 also i'm giving 100 later on actually we can use it into a single statement single printable statement so i'm just writing down fmt or printf or print i'm writing down a2 comma b2 comma c2 we can declare like a wave in a single statement also same thing suppose i want to declare variables like a wave let me comment this one and to comment um, to comment in go language we can just simply control plus slash it will comment comment the code the commented code is never compiled this is for just development uh, th this is just for the developer purpose to understanding what we wrote down or we can write down some good meaningful comment also so we can assign the value also similarly as we declare it we can assign the value it also like a way so these value assign it so now i need to use just simply print it so we can declare and assign the value in all three variables also same way we can declare a variables like for example i just wanted to say x y3 with a shortened property same way i need to assign the value also once we assign the value in this way so definitely we need to use it also x3 and y3 so we can declare a multiple variables in a single statement either shortened property or either this way okay one more thing Suppose I'm declaring a variable over here, so where p comma q comma r, and I can give the value different data type also. So I'm just giving it over here, and here I'm giving this value. Suppose this. So this is also can possible. Means all the data type have the different value. So when we hover it, you can see p is string, q is integer, and r is float. 64 bit we can do like a way also so suppose if i'm declaring a variable like a way and let me comment this one so how we can declare it and we can give the type also suppose i'm giving type so once i give the type all three variables become the same type integer 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 so if you give the type 
it will become the same type. We cannot give the type like a way. Suppose I need to give this a string and this is integer and this is float. That is not possible. So if we declare in a single statement, we need to give the type and the type we should be in the last only. And whatever the type we have given it, it will assign to the same all the variables. Either we can write down single single statement and we can assign it. Or if you write in on single statement, then we either we should not give the type, type will become from type inference. So we can declare like a way. Declare a variable, I just wanted to be uh, need to know what is the type of it. So here, suppose on the hover we can get, but another way through the printing also we can get the what is the type of it. How we will get it? So we just simply say I'm writing down type of A or type of p is percentage t and uh, if i need to be no actually another type definitely i need to write down uh, what is a q and the percentage t percentage t is by which we can get the type so i just need to write down like a so once we run it let's run it also how to run the program as we know earlier also so we need to just simply write down go run demo.go so once we hit we will get the output so after running we can see over here the value is the formatted type of p is string this is string through the this we can get the string and this is formatted so in between the p will become over here q type will become r type will become over here so we can see all this thing. so percentage t is get the type percentage d is for digit percentage s for the string it is same way as we have in the C and C++ language. There we can use formatting also. Same way we can use it. Another thing. So suppose if we have uh, like for example the Q and R. We have different different data type. This is the integer. This is the float. So over here we have different type. So suppose I wanted to sum of. Sum of. I will need to be Q and R. So I will just simply say Q and R. And this QNR, suppose I sum, I wanted to use it. So I'll say fmt.printf, I wanted to use sum. So here we will get the type mismatch. So either I need to convert this is as a float or this R as an integer. To convert any type, we can just simply write down type and wrap it inside in it. Here we can just simply print it. Print L. Simply print it. So this is the way we can see the, this is the way we can just simply the convert the type. Same way we can convert this one also. How I need to convert just simply say the R wrap inside in it the integer. R will be wrapped inside the integer bracket. So this is the way we can convert the type. Suppose I declare a variable at and I'm giving the type. Here if I use it directly the printing that value the value will become as a default value so the string value okay. here here the value will become a default value so every variables has their different default value or either i can say that they are zero value similarly if i declare a variables and i'll say float the float has their on value same way string also so all the integer type variables they have the value is zero and if the variable actually we have string type the value will be the value will be blank if the string type we have the value will be blank for boolean values we have the value is false we can declare a variables inside in this bracket also suppose i'm declaring a variable name age one and salary so if I'm using this one there, I can assign the value also. Suppose I'm assigning the value is John over here and his John age is 20 and the salary is actually 6000 for example. So this is the way we can do the same way as we are declaring on the top is single statement or either we can use in this way. Here the type is also optional. I can give the type and through the value also it will understand what is the type. So once we print, we should be get the value of it also. So we can see these are the three value. So either we can give type or we can leave the type. By default, um, Go is actually formatting once we save it. So 
variables how many way we can declare we can declare variables in a single line also like a way right we can we should have to give the value definitely all three value i need to give it right another way we can declare variables with the shortened property this way so definitely i need to give one more value or either this way so in go language we can declare a multi way variables in go language definitely we have constant also so to so guys the meaning of the constant even every programming language has the constant value also the constant meaning is the value we need to assign the value and once we assign the value it never changed it remains same so let's create a program on variable so okay this is so we should use the fmt okay we'll use it over here so we want to declare three variables all three variables have the float type amount interest time and simple interest so these are the three variables and their output will be come over there so we just wanted to be calculate the simple interest how to calculate the simple interest in math we have principal amount rate of interest and year the multiplication of all three divide by 100 this is the formula so we want to take to the user ki please enter the principal amount okay this is the way we need to be this is we should write. so fmt is deleted if we if we save it and if you want to use it that particular thing will be deleted so we required fmt after that what we need it exactly we need the amount enter the principal amount once we enter the principal amount we need to be get the rate of interest once we get the rate of interest we can just simply say equal and over here also equal okay let's formatting it once we get a principal interest then we will get the interest so this is a percent so whatever the value we assign it actually once we run it we will get the value over in console once we will value type it the value will be goes inside in it same way we need to be give the time also how many year what is the interest we are calculated on the basis of how many year so we are getting the interest calculating interest on basis of this finally we need to just calculate on the basis of this is our formula we need to calculate and finally we need to print it simple interest whatever the simple interest we calculated we need to print it so let's run it i just run it the first we need to get the principal amount suppose i need to be just give the 10000 rate of interest i'm just saying 7 enter the year i'm just saying 5 year it will give me the simple interest this is simple interest so like this kind of program we can make to just the practice of variables i'll share some assignment guys you guys can check the comment sections and you can complete the assignment and submit to me okay it's so in next chapter we will learn about string in go language i have the string and their functions string has their own functions so that function will help out to get a substring to find out element to convert upper case lower case and these are the we'll see the string and their functions thank you guys thanks for watching